hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of m if we have 1 over m plus 1 is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for the values of m so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are satisfied of this equation and which of the roots are not or in other words uh, we just verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root also at the end i can explain the difference between solution and extraneous root uh, so please watch this video at the end uh, now here we move uh, uh, also further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so here first we move towards our first method and in first method uh, here we need to move this plus 1 uh, to the right hand side so it will be written as 1 divided by m is equal to this is positive 1 when we move it into the right hand side uh, it will becomes here minus 1 so now you see here uh, we have this is 1 divided by m is equals to 1 minus 1 becomes here 0 so if 1 over m is equals to 0 in order to find the value of m uh, here we have two ways to find the values of m the first one is uh, we just take the reciprocal on both of the sides so you see here uh, the denominator of this term is 1 and when you take the reciprocal over our right hand side will becomes infinity so it means that it is not possible to take the reciprocal of both of the sides so here we move m to the right hand side and when you move m to the right hand side it will be written as 1 equal to 0 times of m and we know that <clears throat> when we multiply 0 with any other number it is also equals to 0 so here we get uh, 1 is equals to 0 but generally it is not possible that uh, act 1 is equals to 0 so here we just write that it is uh, not possible okay it is not possible because 1 is not equals to 0 so if it is not possible this means that we cannot get any values of m from first method uh, so we finally conclude about that uh, this question has no solution okay because uh, we cannot find any value of m which is satisfied our given question statement and now here i can explain the difference between solution and extraneous root so you know about that uh, the roots or the values of x which is uh, satisfied our given question statement is called the solution of this equation and the values uh, of x which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the uh, extraneous root of the given equation so here uh, because we cannot find any value of x any value of m so uh, this means that this question has no solution in general okay now we again solve this method this uh, question uh, with the second method i hope so you like both of these methods and now here in the second method we need to copy down given question statement here it is 1 divided by m plus 1 is equals to 1 so this is the our given question statement and here uh, in the second method we can just uh, give you an other way to find the value of m so in this method you see here the denominator of this term is 1 and now we need to take the LCM of this term so when you will take the LCM we will get here its LCM is m when we divide this m with m you get here a 1 only plus when you uh, divide this m by 1 you get m and m times of 1 is equals to m and this is equals to 1 so in the next step we uh, you see here the denominator of this term is also 1 and now we need to cross multiply the term so that we will multiply 1 with this value and we multiply m with this value okay so <clears throat> further you see here 1 times of this value is equals to 1 plus m is equals to m times of 1 is equals to m multiplied by 1 okay so that uh, here uh, we will get this is 1 plus m is equals to m and now here in the next step uh, we need to move the m in the left hand side to the right hand side uh, so for this uh, it will be written as 1 is equals to this is plus m when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes minus m okay uh, so now you see here this negative m and positive m are gone 
and we will get here 1 is equals to my m and minus m becomes here 0 so 1 is not equals to 0 we know that 1 is not equals to 0 in general uh, so uh, this means that we cannot get uh, any value of m which is satisfied our given question so this is this is not possible that uh, 1 is equals to 0 okay so uh, here you clearly see that uh, we cannot get any value of m which is satisfied our given question statement so this means that our given question has no solution and this is the our final conclusion about this question so you see here uh, from both of these methods uh, we cannot get any value of m uh, so from both of these methods just tells us that this question has uh, no solution in general but uh, please uh, you uh, try this question in your way and uh, please tell us in the comment section that uh, is this is you can find any value of m uh, so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos